Hey everybody, hi Donna. Hi Steve. How are we doing today? We're good. <laughs> it is Wednesday afternoon. We are sitting in front of Timeless Treasures on 17th and Owen Lincoln at our uh, place where we have a booth in the store. Yes. And I'm Steve. Oh, I'm Donna. We're Happy Heart Treasures. Thank you for joining our channel. Uh, we have eight totes that we Yes. Shared. We just dropped off three totes of mail at the post office. Now we have eight totes to bring into here. We're replenishing because this weekend we know for sure the freshmen come back to college. <laughs> yes. And the next week then the all the rest of the college students comes back and we want to be ready. We have a ton Husker of stuff, stuff coming yeah. in here and a ton of Husker stuff. We have vintage coats. We got all kinds of stuff. So we're just going to bring that in, rework it, and kind of show what we did. And then we are going to go to the storage unit and work on getting the one empty. empty. Well, yeah. I don't think we can get it empty today, but we're definitely going to show you some stuff in there and show you kind of that process and where we're at with that. So you ready? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go get these eight totes in. <laughs> this stuff here she's grabbing one up there we got one on the seat we got a bench with flames on it we, we got a little bit of everything let's go okay here we go this is before it's kind of messy looks like kids have already been looking so we got to straighten stuff up and restock rearrange And so when we get done, we'll show you what it looks like. Steve went out to get some more stuff. So, yeah. All right, let's update the candy. We're going to open and see if we have some quarters in there. We still don't have a sign that says on it that says fresh candy, 25 cents. But Donna did bring one, so we're going to put one on. So we'll see if that bumps up some sales. But let's take a look. Hot tamales, Skittles, and Boston baked beans. Looks like Skittles is a little lower, but that's probably because I eat it whenever I come. And here we go. Oh, there's some quarters. You can't really see. That is dark in there, isn't it? Uh, let's see how many quarters we got in there. All right, we got 15 quarters right there. 15 quarters equals $3.75. May not be a lot of money, but it's if, you, if it's fun, if you saw the video where we came in here and it was nothing in it, uh, yeah, this is much better. All right, we are just finishing up here. Been here for a while. I did not realize how many things Donna was actually bringing. But man, we've got a lot of new stuff in here. So if you are in Lincoln, you should come check this out. We'll kind of show you what it looks like now. I'll show you some highlights. Uh, first off, right here at the candy machine, we do have a sign now. Fresh candy, 25 cents. Dispenser not for sale. And then Donna's hot and cooling off by the fan. She's been working. Uh, we brought in a ton more clothes like there is so many more clothes. We have coats We have vintage Husker coats Vintage coat there vintage coat there. Here's a old sweatshirt. This is an old leather coat There's another uh, Vintage coat and then some pants some other Husker stuff. We got reverse weave sweatshirts all up in here right there and somewhere else over here but we got all this clothes like a good section of this is all new we just brought in all the willow tree and, and then over new. yeah over here donna brought in all these willow tree figures she rearranged a bunch of stuff stuff all over the place uh we got moved all our star wars figures over here to one location brought some turtles in yep some more plush some more plush yeah we got a nice plush selection here she moved the banks down to here like the kids themed banks um, we sold a couple of those I think yesterday or today uh, and then we brought in that bench we put 25 on that and then there's some willow trees sprinkled in here as long as well as some other just fun stuff man we got a good selection we sold about half the wrestlers got about half left I put them all in the ring there for a Royal Rumble they're ready to go and some more on the bottom there so with all the kids coming back this should we should have a good next few weeks uh for sure and then football season starts and man we we think we expect big things from the booth here so um anything to say here at the booth 
<laughs> come check it out. Come check it out. Come if you're in Lincoln, come check it out. There's lots and lots of new stuff. Even if you don't buy anything, just put a quarter in the machine so next time we come it's not empty. <laughs> Alright, should we run over the storage unit? Yes. Alright. Alright, it is the next day actually. Some things came up yesterday and we... Where is she at? It's so dark in here. I'm right here. And things came up yesterday and we didn't get here yesterday. We ended up uh, having a change of plans, so we're here. It is Thursday afternoon. We got up, we did hit some garage sales this morning. Uh, only like four sales. We weren't planning on it, but we thought, well, let's hit some anyway. And I'm glad we did. I think we found some good stuff. We'll show you that in a little bit. We just want to show you what we got going on there at the storage units. We're going to do a little bit of work here. I stacked it up to make more room. Yeah, this, last time we were here, Donna did this. She made room so we could put boxes. We're only going to do boxes or toast. We're not going to do any loose open items in here. And so we're gonna get a bunch in here. We have one week to get the other storage unit empty before we get charged again for another month. So that's the goal. We're gonna take some home today, not a lot because we did get some garage sale stuff and we have totes from the booth and stuff. But the goal is to take some stuff today, move some stuff over to there, and then make it more manageable. But we're gonna show you some stuff. We're gonna show you the garage sale stuff. And yeah, that's where we're at. This There's is the Iowa unit. There's more than you thought, but back here there was all these fishing poles and stuff. Loose stuff back here, and that's all gone. Sold all that. Still have a couple old bows back over there. We have pictures. So the loose stuff I'm talking about is like this radio and that ashtray looking thing. And there's a sound bar right here. You know, stuff like this that don't go in boxes or totes we need to get home so we can get sold. There's a little step stool, there's a heater, um, sewing machine. So I think the first thing we're gonna do is, right, move boxes and totes over to the other storage unit. Then once that's full, we'll see what we have left. We'll take some stuff home. All right, I think we have a pretty good plan here. Um, the, our storage unit we're keeping, we brought totes and boxes. We have some big totes. So they take up a lot of space, but there's actually still a little more room. We understand that, but those two are heaters. So we'll save those till it's almost winter. But we have all this, we brought in all this, as you can see, but like these are really dirty. These are from the big shed garage thing. Um, so the plan, unfortunately, our snowblower is buried. So I talked to Donna and like, we're both on the same page that we can't, get any big storage units until we get not only that empty we also have to get this work down but with these big totes and stuff you know we'll be able to once we get that done bring big things home and work through this some work honestly it's kind of overwhelming it's a lot of stuff but we're kind of excited about it because we know everything in here is fire by and then everything in here we picked we hand picked we hand picked it from iowa we hand picked it from turtles hand picked from garage sales or whatever so we're excited about what's in here. Obviously, we're going into the winter. It's mid-August, and we don't even need to worry about going into the winter stocking up because we've already done it. So we're excited about it, honestly. But in here, we got a brand new shagging wagon. Um, that's what somebody calls it. Maybe here a tornado, but I don't know that we'll use it. But look at this. This says Barbies, and it's really heavy. Donna says, I don't think there's Barbies in there. Look at this. Holy cow, it is full of little toys. Who knows what's in there, honestly. It's hard telling. And what do we got in here? Let's take a peek. Uh, that looks like clothes. Could be clothes, looks like hustle clothes I saw there. We'll just take a peek in here. More toys, there's a Furby baby, so that's probably newer. But look at McDonald's toys, super toys. And then back there, we see path lights, Husker path lights. Those will sell well. Um, in here, fishing stuff. There's a Lawrence uh, dip finder or fish finder. So lots of cool stuff, you guys. Now let's go over to the other storage unit. I'll show you what we have to take home and what we have left to empty in there. Okay, so what we did, we tried to get all the closed stackable containers for the other storage unit. So now we're gonna take home things that are open on top. We can't stack, so we're gonna take just these two totes home right now, and then 
Hi Donnie, you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's warm in here. This is the turtle buy. Okay. Right here. These are empty. Empty bags, yeah. So the turtle buy over here. And this is still stuff from Iowa sewing machine. There's some tools, scrabble. Uh, here's a 10 by 10 tent. We usually borrow the neighbors for the garage sales, but probably keep that. Got some folding chairs and blind yet, random stuff. stuff here. Pictures, chair, whatever. Two bows. We were gonna take the oddball things, the bigger oddball things, like we said, but I can't list them and get them on right away. So we'll probably do that like Saturday in a couple days. So that's where we're at. Um, we're gonna take this stuff, we're gonna go home, then we're gonna finish up the video by showing you just some garage sale finds that we got today. All right, we are back home now. We had a little lunch, and now we're gonna show you our garage sale finds. First, say hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. <laughs> Donna is hanging out here. So when you see our storage units, like I said in the video, we're really excited about the stuff that's in there. But when you think of, wow, that's so much stuff. What are they gonna do with it? I wanna show you where we're at in our garage because literally, we got a lot more room than a lot of people probably think. Last time you showed them, that was all full of stuff. Yes. The tables were full. So as you can see, we have this big empty space over here. This is still my garage sale stuff from last week. Donna already worked hers. All that stuff that was in here, Donna worked already. That I still have to work. Um, these are empty totes right here. Empty tote right there. These bins are actually, this is plastic bags and those are recycles. And just a little bit of things to work here. We've got a lot of emptiness, a lot of space. So we're actually gonna like rotate the garage where we can pull from here and work this stuff. Those are empty boxes there to go downstairs and once we fill with eBay. So, so we've made a lot of room, a lot of space. And our tables over here are empty now. Um, we got all this is empty. Mine's full again. Donna's is full again, but it's all new stuff. And then over here, this was all empty. But this is now garage sale stuff. We went out, set out just to go to storage. We hit only like five garage sales, I think. Yeah. It wasn't that many, but we found a bunch of stuff at one garage sale that Donna will tell you about. And we'll show you just the few things we picked up at a few other garage sales. First of all, at one garage sale, we each found something. Donna found this cookbook. She paid a dollar for Burt's Best. We do cookbooks when they're like, you know, homemade or made by churches or whatever not the hard copy like in bookstore cookbooks so we she picked that up and then in here some of my favorite stuff can anybody guess what this is <laughs> rock cassettes there is madonna but led zeppelin ozzy osbourne ellie guns three motley crew theater pains acdc 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 dead or alive i'm not sure what that is but i just thought i'd grab it Judas Priest, Billy Idol, ACDC, Winger, Bon Jovi, Run DMC. So I got those for 50 cents a cassette. She threw in the case, but then when we left, I realized it's all torn down the side. So that's pretty much trash. We went to another garage sale where the guy was selling things pretty expensive. However, in his pile, in his little bit of stuff he did have, this one is dirty here. He had these Grubhub bags, two different sizes. And I know to pick these up because of Harry Tornado. They pick them up, DoorDash and Grubhub bags whenever they can. And so I picked, I said, how much for the bag? And he said, five bucks for both. We picked them up and the two of these sell for like 40 bucks plus shipping. So that was a fun find. And then at one more garage, so Donna found these yarns. They're really yes. unique or something. Yarn kits, Ann's hook and needle kit club, and woven ribbon runner kit. And she paid five for pe five for these two of these. Total. And then the rest of it was all in one sale. Yeah. And I'm gonna have Donna tell you about that sale because it was pretty interesting. Okay, everything else that you see that we're gonna show you is from one garage sale and it was a gal selling um, a state of a grandma or something like that. Anyway, so we went through and we talked a lot about what we do and kind of tried to show them how to look stuff up on eBay and check comps and this and that because she had the whole house to do. They have till October to pretty much empty the house. Mm -hmm. And so we were trying to give them some pointers and stuff and we were talking about our dollar garage sale and things like that. But while we were talking, we were shopping. And so I'm going to show you some of the things that we found. Um, she said she was going to watch, so... Hi, Steph and Chris. 
Um, but anyway, I got two blankets. This quilts. one. Quilts. Yep. And this one. Um, she said they were handmade by the church ladies. I got the two quilts for $2 a piece. And then I got the yarn here. This was $75 um, a dollar. And then I can't remember what this was. $0.50? Cents? Um, this I thought was really pretty. So it might be personal use. I'm not sure. But I got it for $4. <laughs> or it might go in the booth. Got some Tupperware things. Now this is personal use. But we use this for cookies. Yep. So maybe I need to make a batch of cookies, but I love these store containers. Yep. And so we got another one and it was full of jewelry pieces, earrings, brooches, things like that. So yeah, I, and you haven't went through those either, right? No, I haven't gone through them yet. The whole thing? Got it for five. She had 10 marked on here, gave it to me for five. I got uh, Home Interiors little brass butterflies for a quarter and i looked those up and they sell for 9.99 on ebay didn't even look this up <laughs> this is going to columbus i told them it's a pop bingo bingo thing and so this is going to my mom that's my plan anyway <laughs> we'll play bingo at her house okay and then i got this because i thought it was cute and then steve told me i shouldn't buy candles I <laughs> but i didn't look it up yet <laughs> If you happen to watch Grams and Pops and you watch their video that just came out on Wednesday yesterday, they sold something Campbell's and they're like, we do not buy Campbell's. And she grabbed that and I'm like, oh, you weren't paying attention when we watched Grams and Pops. We don't <laughs> buy Campbell's, but yeah, I've got it for a quarter or something. Okay. And so they got another box for 75 cents of jewelry and I haven't looked through that yet, but for 75 cents, it's some brooches and earrings, it looks like. Um, also, these are key hangers to hang your keys off your I've never, purse. I've never seen those before. But they hook over the side of your purse. So you can see that. Hopefully it focuses. But yeah, just kind of cool. You put them on the purse and hook the keys. Just the whole bag of that. We thought we'd try that because we've never seen that before. Right. And I got a bag for a dollar of these um, kits. Oops, kits. That one is open. But it's, it's needlepoint canvas. Plastic canvas kits. That one's a Halloween. This is a Christmas. Another Christmas. The cross stitch ones we know can be worth a lot of money. The gold collection cross stitch can be $40, yeah, $50 dimensions, a piece. Gold, dimensions gold mm -hmm. is really good. We don't see any of those here. but um, Here is a dimensions kit. It is an embroidery kit. And then I picked these up in the free. So she had all of these in the free box and they're for a dollar. But they're coloring books. And there's um, little brand new little golden books right there. Yep. Two of those little things. So they were just out by the curb with cookbooks for free. Yeah. So for dollar auction. And then I got these corn server sets for corn on the cob. Yep. And then Steve got this cookie mold. A brand new one. She wanted, it was like a quarter. Quarter uh -huh. or 50 cents. It's open. I believe it's new, but like one that's not open sold for like I think like 15 or 20 bucks yeah, or something those so, are vintage. so i just grabbed them okay then another thing that we found there and we did help her know how to look things up um there but we got two princess house number 13 26, 26 they're mugs um i'll post pictures of okay. what they actually are they're not not used not open um then also steve found this is this Fantasia. Is Fantasia, which is a princess house model. It's number 529. Got this for $5. Uh, it is a casserole dish and it's got some etching in it and everything. Mm, that's and this the Fantasia is pattern. brand spanking new right here. It's a um, poinsettia pattern. So Fantasia okay. stuff usually does pretty good. We've had some Fantasia glasses that we've sold that's, before. That's number 529. She gave me that for $5. And, and then, then this is a number 26. I'm two, sorry, 2565. Two, five, five. I'll post a picture up, but this is a three piece tiered server. Got this for $5 also. And then I got this box for five. And in this box, there are, um, so you can see it. These are new uh, Halloween tea towels. And some have the button at the top. There's little runners yeah. but they're all halloween 
and with Halloween coming up, and we've seen Kayla on Homeschooling Picker pick up and do pretty good with themed kitchen towels. Well, you've sold a lot of tea towels in the past. We have one yep. so I bought yesterday, so we have to ship tomorrow. I yep. mean, you, she, Donna sold quite a few tea towels. Mine were the cotton tea towels. These are the terry cloth um, themed kitchen towels. So a little bit different, but but still, but still, towels. and then we've got some. When you're simple mind like me, it's just towels. It don't matter what it's made of. Okay, so this is a tea towel, Stephen. Okay. It's cotton tea towel, and then these are just the. So there's a lot of those. So oh, there's we'll... spider on it. It's not real. <laughs> so I think those will do pretty yeah, good. Yeah, boy, there's a lot in that box. Um. Then there's. Uh, napkins. napkins and stuff but yeah what there's in there they're goodie bags favor bags there's gift bags just decorations for halloween okay but the main reason box. the main reason i got this was for the tea towels okay okay and then this box i have not even been through it i just kind of glanced through it and there are some kits um, there is a latch hook pillow kit, there is a needlepoint kit, another needlepoint kit. This is a current, current magazine, um, needlepoint embroidery kit. This is um, the punch uh, pattern book. I don't know if any of you guys remember punch, punch patterns. This is the dimensions, haven't looked it up yet, but it may do well because it is a uh, cro counted cross stitch and then we've got some pattern books they usually don't do the best because everyone has but them. it was just one whole box yeah one stuff. whole box we got this whole box and here's the, the punch needle punch but um we got this whole box for four dollars so there's just several different kits and pattern books i'm seeing this for the first time <laughs> Might even be some cards down in there, but yep. patterns. So four bucks for that. Yep. So that's everything from that one sale. And they they had they said this was just kind of a partial of what's all in the house. And so they plan on having a garage sale this weekend, next weekend, and the weekend after. So um, we're hoping they let us come and do like a pick thing but otherwise i think we'll definitely yeah. be going back as long as we're in town yeah. uh we'll definitely go back if we can to their garage sale well next thursday we'll be here in the morning for yeah. sure so anyway that's it that's all we got and then the storage unit we have that stuff that we brought we'll bring that in but we can work this we stuff are going to do discovery uh videos of the stuff we're bringing from the iowa right okay sounds good <laughs> All that stuff that you saw in storage we were bringing home, our next video, like, we'll do, we'll show what all is in there. Because we think it's fun to show what's in there because, and get a video out because then the people that, especially that are local, or even the stuff on eBay, it's they can see it ahead of time. It's fun to treasure hunt. Though, it's fun to seen. treasure hunt. We don't know what all's in there. And then some people will message or, you know, whatever, watch for it on eBay, and then they'll be like, oh, I want that, and mm -hmm. they'll buy it. So it's fun to do that. So Yes. Uh, but for today, that's it. That's all I got. Is that all you got? That's it. Please like and subscribe. Yep. Um, about 47% of our watchers are not subscribed. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah, if you're still watching now and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That'd be awesome. <laughs> and if you hit the like, bu like button, that would be awesome too. Yes. We are Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. <laughs> we'll see you on the next video. Bye.